Okay. Hey, three across. <laughs> Welcome to three across the New York crossword podcast companion. You do look like you write and design podcasts in your sweater, Jordan. I feel, I feel like it. This is my podcast design and sweater. Take that off. It's like emanating it. heat. Yeah, you're radiating. <laughs> You look cool, though. I've been trying to find one single garment in the fifth largest mall in the world today that fit me, and unsuccessful. You got to go to that weird store that sells like only only quest items. They got a jeweled panther. I'm sure they have some kind of serapa. Right, there's a flute made of bone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Bring me antlers off a female deer. And they're having a cl- <laughs> they're having a clearance too, yeah. which I can only imagine like is all the time. Just like, please, somebody come buy this. Bejeweled Panther. It's not moving. The Bejeweled Panthers aren't moving. No, we can't get a fucking single Jeweled Panther out of here. I told you, Terry, it's not Bejeweled Panther season in America. (laughs) They're going to come around. It's It's the year of the goat, Terry. People need Bejeweled Panthers in Nyack. How are they going to welcome people to their yurt unless they know that it's been blessed? (laughs) By the Bejeweled Panther. Dude, there was like a fucking uh, store we walked into called like Virgins Only or like... uh, (laughs) Dickless Puds United. It was Inc- some. It was some oh, Forever Incel. Yeah, 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 it was like an otaku store or yeah. whatever. And they had a uh, Pennywise, like full size figurine. Nice. Not the band. I wish I would have dropped sure. nineteen hundred on that. <laughs> Bro, nineteen hundred dollars, dude. Yeah. That Kratos from God of War was fifteen hundred. Yeah, Who walks? Who's just like window shopping in the mall and they're like, oh, full size Kratos. Yeah, I don't need to pay the car note for the next three months. It's for practicing kissing, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get that and seeing guy? how your outfits fit on a man. <laughs> <laughs> you feel his abs, you put a jacket on him, you have yeah. dinner with it. <laughs> it's just chicks walking out with Kratos under their arm and then a big bottle of lube. <laughs> Off to Spencer's Gifts to get uh, you a girdle, Kratos. Let's go, let's go play a mini game. Let's go do a fucking... <laughs> they try and return it. Quick time event, Kratos. <laughs> no returns on Kratos. We know what you guys are up to. <laughs> Why well, is he so ha- slippery? Do you have his little boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Beat it. Quit Please asking boy. if we have his son. They hang up a sign in the store. <laughs> no we do not have Kratos' son. son. Do not yeah. sell Kratos' son All to this guy. <laughs> it's a picture. His mugshot. They yeah. moved immediately. They yeah. were gone day one. People lined up at the door. <laughs> People, everyone, a, a line of men in fake mustaches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was funny yesterday. We're in like the largest mall in all of uh, the Western it's Hemisphere. It's immense. And you hit me up and you're like, hey, I'm by the Best Buy. Where's the club? <laughs> like, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not the Oracle. All right, three miles north. Yeah. You're going to cross through the valley. Yeah, you've been playing Witcher 4 too much. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. he'll tell me where it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, uh, Witcher sucks. I'm no, sorry, dude. Great. I tried Witcher so three? hard. Wait, the show or the game? The game, dude. Oh, you're wrong. No, you told me to get oh, Witcher and I got it. And then I was like, this sucks. Is it the first one? The first one no. Sucks. The first it one's was, bad. No, Second was, one's bad. Third one is one of the best games in existence. I I think it was Witcher 3. It was the one you and Yuris lost yourselves to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Yuris gained a lot to that. I had, game. <laughs> <laughs> I had my Here's what happened to my copy of Witcher 3. I sold <laughs> my my grandma's car to make rent. She gave me a car and I was I was down bad. Jesus was Christ. Down bad in LA. Whoa. And I I I ended up having to sell my car on Craigslist and these kids came and bought it. They seemed very nice. And uh a couple of days later, what, they have propeller like, beanies. Were they dressed like I Dennis the like, Menace? Hey, Mister, we're here for a car, so we can go to the zoo. <laughs> we want to go to the pickle museum. I want to go to the <laughs> lollipop store. <laughs> um, it's only a drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, sold it to him. A couple of days later, I was like, "Oh shit! I left my Witcher three in there." Oh. And I messaged him on the uh, on the app, and he like blocked me immediately. And I was like, "What the fuck happened?" Yeah. And then a few months later, I got a call from the LAPD oh. saying that that car had been used for crimes, <laughs> almost exclusively crimes. And, and then you went full Big Lebowski. You're like, "Was there a Witcher three in there?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got him working in shifts. <laughs> You can go to the Empire and Lodge full of bullets. Listen, it's one of the best games of all time. <laughs> yeah. Some people will tell you it's, it's not. It's a little too, <laughs> a little too dense. The magic system sucked. The magic system does suck, but the, the combat Witcher, sucked. The Witcher isn't a magician. The Witcher is a swordsman. Hey, you guys can go ahead and tap out right here. No, 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 no. You Turn it off. Thanks this for listening. It's gonna be important. Crank it. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean he's not a magician? His he's name not. is The Witcher. He's not. He witches. Yeah, but that's for fu- he like fights witches. Yeah. I'm going witching. 
He's right, not, he goes out and he fights a bunch of ghouls and goblins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super ma- ghouls and ghosts. Magic is, his magic is merely surface level. But, but then you go and you try and hack and slash, and you're like, this sucks too. The hack and slashing is cool. I, I hate the camera I, I, angle. No qualm with that. Mm. I How like long that he, did you play I, it for? 15 minutes? No, I tried to play it for like three hours. I got through the academy thing. I got into the village. I think he boned some chick. I was like, sure. swish. Jordan <laughs> was right. That sounds like <laughs> the Witcher. How, am I, how do I play this with one hand? He's a weird, hot mutant <laughs> boning chicks throughout the fucking fantasy land. Yeah, there's like hooters in that game. But there's tons of hooters. Yeah, which is cool. What? And then there are repercussions for the hooters. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> like sometimes he'll be like, I'm going to have a threesome with three magic ladies. And then... He like gets tied to like a mast and paraded in front of the town for being a hornball. Yeah, and he has a boner the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, they're like, you how is? You control it with a touchpad. I've never seen someone <laughs> hung on two masts. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, I wanted to play Witcher a lot, but then I just got back into Ghost of Tsushima because it was of cooler. Tsushima kicks ass, dude. I went full samurai for a while. It's fucking great. Yeah, it was great. I want to play that VR Assassin's Creed. You're running, you're jumping. I want to play that too. I want to watch you play that from the first person. (laughs) I want to be in the room as you're playing VR Assassin's Creed. Dude, when we got those... uh, (laughs) Heart attack. We all got the... Yeah, you've been dead forever, but... (laughs) The DMT blast that comes in when you die just has you trapped in there. He's uploaded. That'd be the way to go. He's in there. He's still playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. His heart's up, but he's still in there. Yeah, it's like child's play. You're, if you die while you're playing VR, you go to VR heaven. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just up there. And then they just cut to you in your grave, and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think happens in Assassin's Creed? <laughs> he gets laid like Witcher. <laughs> yeah. In heaven, he better get laid. I'm here to stab you. It's not just you know jumping I mean? in the bales of hay from up top. VR in general, mm-hmm. like I want to like it. It it's it's not there yet. Everybody's yeah. you're it's, talking about the Apple because everybody's saying the Apple is it's heavy is on where your head. Oh. It hurts after a while, and it. It's disorienting. I don't know if I'm just an old man about it, but if you're in there for long enough, you're like, oh. I've been playing for hours. No one's witched anything. Oh. <laughs> Who cares? I, haven't, I, I don't. I'm not built to be an assassin. He Dude. runs too fast. It's too. It's too kinetic. One of the greatest gifts that I ever received was David Bory got an Oculus, and me and Mel. And Jansicock were sitting in the room as David was playing his Oculus, <laughs> and him like <laughs> turning slowly and then crouching, and his whole ass his whole ass is out, and then him like and then like him like hopping up and like shooting over his head. Oh my god, dude! Watching Bori immersed in the Matrix was incredible. the greatest. Yeah, incredible. He ate both pills. There is there is like there are games that are cool, but mm-hmm. they're like small, like one room. Games where yeah. you're like, like work simulator is a lot of fun. I know it sounds stupid, what but it's really fuck? fun. Uh, what is it? Like power like, wash, but you work at a car wash. It's like it's, like goose simulator. It's like a it's like a like robots are trying to interpret what human work is. Like mm. this is where humans would go to work in an office, and it's uh it's fun. And you stand in one room, and there's like little puzzles. But anything where you have to like like run and jump and leap. It just, it fucking, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me. Because you can't jump in you real life. Exactly. You yeah. have to like move forward on the pad and mm-hmm. you lo- you feel like you're moving, but your feet aren't moving. Right. So you're kind of like, it makes it makes me motion sick. I tried to play some war game with Tommy Pope over Oculus. And yeah. it was so stupid because he'd be like, all right, run 100 yards up. And then you, I would find myself just <laughs> leaning into it as <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing yeah, yeah, forward. Yes. Like the wind is bracing yes. me. And I was like, dude, this sucks. I'm sorry, Tommy. I think it will happen. I think eventually <laughs> it'll get there. You need You need a track. You need yeah. a treadmill. Did you see? There's yeah. Disney unleashed some kind of track thing. Yeah, yeah. They cracked open Walt's grave after a yeah, hundred exactly. years, and he had the blueprints. <laughs> <laughs> they had to fight him for it. One day, he wasn't gonna give it up. No, is that Walt Disney. I'm Walt Disney. I have as returned soon, from yeah. the grave. The as Disney as, Vault. As soon as, Bring me Mickey. As soon as the Steamboat <laughs> Willie Mickey trademark first. becomes public domain, use this so that we <laughs> try to. Do some damage control with all the porn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's bring. We'll bring Walt back. He wants to see the steamboat. Uh-huh. Put him in VR. Cleveland steamboat, Mickey. It's just like I imagined. I am Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to be a vampire, right? Yeah, of course. I bought to fuck the mini until there's vampire technology. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, don't thaw out my head until I can live even longer. <laughs> don't thaw out my head until you can put it on Arnold's body, and I want Danny DeVito's thick cock. <laughs> Twins. Got a chode. Not a lot of people know this. He's uh, he's all dick from the waist down. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, a 
Jabba the Hutt situation. He's like Slurms McKenzie. <laughs> He's just slithering around. <laughs> Dude, Danny's cashing in. He's crushing it. Well, he's doing like the, you know, the Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike. He wants to leave money behind. He uh he w- has been like a huge proponent of Jersey Mike's. He like went to the first Jersey Mike's in Jersey and like used to eat there as a kid. What? Yeah. Oh, that's he's like, cool. He's like a friend of Mike or something. He's like, bake me into the bread. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cough. I want to burst out of a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you guys do a Danny DeVito calzone? <laughs> you no, this now. is a sandwich place. <laughs> do you do a Danny DeVito calzone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he me loves and, those singers. Me and Stephen Feinarts pitched Danny DeVito on his final film. It was. Uh, we actually came up with like a real nice, like romantic thing where he like his wife dies, so he tries to fall back in love with his high school fling, mm. and she's living in Berlin as like an artist. So he goes to Berlin, and Berlin's the backdrop, and she turns him down. So he has to kind of like have his like lost in translation, lost period in Berlin and sure. the nightclubs with all the old freaks who live there. Yeah, yeah. We didn't make it more than five minutes into the pitch before he was like click <laughs> the zoom window went blank what yeah i gotta go i gotta eat a sandwich hey, yeah, i gotta get that. baked into a sandwich i get a free sandwich a day but i have to get there before four yeah i'm sorry guys this is a great little thing you guys worked real hard on what a fucking power move though if somebody is pitching you something and a long ass jersey mics just start <laughs> poking into frame <laughs> yeah but then somehow you see his hands aren't touching it <laughs> so he's, ah, He's, got he's an, typing. He's got an apparatus. Yeah, I'm going to tune my guitar while I eat this sandwich real quick. Got a sandwich lifter. <laughs> that is a fun idea. I thought you were goofing. And then you got to the end and I was like, oh, that is, that's a sweet idea. Oh, yeah. If you had some kind of like appendage you could attach it to. Oh, no, no, no. About the movie idea. Oh, it's a good Danny idea. DeVito. Yeah. Don't take that, that listeners. Was you and yeah. who? Danny. And Steven Fine Arts. Who's that? He directed Bitter Buddha and a couple other things. Him and Bori oh, have been collaborators cool. and stuff. Uh, I was like, man, you you live a whole life without me that I don't know about. Um, Danny DeVito's involved briefly. Yeah, Yeah, there was a Danny DeVito interlude that you weren't (laughs) privy to. Did he just click off? No, no, he was very nice about it. But he's like, I'm looking for something more for kids Mm. because he wants to like leave a. He wants to do his last film. He directs it. He stars in it. Ah, and he wanted it to be his like. We were told he wanted it to be his Oscar win. His like push to the top. But no, it ended up he wanted like a kids movie he could leave behind. It would be like a revered classic. Steamboat Danny. Like he did Matilda. Steamboat Danny. When I think about you, dude, I often think about you on one of those like (laughs) hand carts going through the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I I travel. That's why it took you three and a half hours to get here from Brooklyn. With a chimpanzee or a a donkey or something. (laughs) Yeah, the chimp's in charge. He's yelling at me. The chimp's blowing on the jug so Jordan can keep time. <laughs> Have you um, been on this podcast before? No. Hey, Jordan Dahl, everyone. Hey, hello. <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're good at talking people up. The room's we, filling with pod. We make <laughs> people read the description so that they they get the promo codes, they get the name of the guest. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, someone's tunneling in. God, yeah, there's, there's, there's 75 Your people here. working right now. <laughs> there are 75 people on staff. Yeah, and there's 75 yeah. people coming to the show. Hustling. It's, it's Hustling. a one-to-one. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the panic room of the West Nyack Levity Live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which don't, God forbid you call it the improv. Yeah. I, but, kept, I kept trying to tag the West Nyack improv. But I mean. It's the improv. It's the improv. Yeah, we're in an improv here. I've had I've had those buffalo boneless wings somewhere before. Yeah, in your nightmares. <laughs> dude, <laughs> when, he, so when bad, he dropped dude. off those fucking red pellets, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun to watch him eat. <laughs> I, at the very least, I was hoping that they would be actual pieces of meat. Yeah. And it's like, no, these were printed. Right. These are, these are full on spheres. Right, when the gobstopper spheres. machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they're out of sugar, they just put in the so fucking bad. chicken. And paste. Yeah, yeah it, was oh, it was. It was a paste. Mm-hmm. I told Jordan last night. I was, I'm so glad that you are the host this weekend because, yeah. well, you know, me and him being together, too, it's great. We know exactly what we're getting. But then the there's still the wild card of sure. the local host, Big Mel, and so Rise <laughs> of the Lichen. <laughs> Did you see Whoa. that? 
I saw, he he pointed out Rise of the Lycan. He was like, it's the third Underworld movie. But I didn't know who signed it. <laughs> Big Mel signed Big it in Mel. 2022. And it just says Rise of the Lycan. And Jordan was like, oh, that's a weird name for a comic. And I was like, no, that's the thank you for having me. The guy's name is Big Mel. Because backstage, there's all like, hey, thank you, Wes Nyack. Five yeah, yeah. sold out show. I love being here. Guy Tori. Yeah. And his ver- Big Mel's version of that was just Rise of the Lycan. Rise Lycan. of the Lycan. <laughs> like he had just seen it or something. <laughs> Right, or was yeah. like really pumped about the underworld. Does series? he have a bit? <laughs> Is there a bit about Rise of the Lycan? Maybe that was what I was thinking. Maybe yeah. he looks like a, a werewolf, so he maybe he's has a, a joke throat. where he talks about Rise of the Lycan. What a fucking set that would be I'm for his sure. closer. He oh, just metamorphoses. He, he turns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like remember oh. that movie where it was like the first time they had the guy go through the werewolf transition, oh, yeah. and they showed it on like Entertainment Tonight a lot. Sure, just that in his oh his fucking face um, growing uh, American, American werewolf, werewolf in, in London. London. Yes, dude. terrifying. It's dude. a terrifying scene. It's a yeah. fucking great it movie. Really that may be the best werewolf movie there is. Well, don't say that to. Stefan Williamson. What is he like? I told oh, Jordan. <laughs> I told Jordan last night. I saw the first Underworld with Stefan Williamson in theaters. Yeah. And like at the end of the movie, like Stefan like wasn't talking, and I was like, we get out and we're walking to the car, and I was like, well, that, was, that was pretty good. And Stefan said, pretty good. <laughs> it was werewolves in the Matrix. <laughs> he was like. He was like trying to fucking process it. He, <laughs> he was so mad at me for the ride home. He's like, pretty good. What are you talking he about? He dressed in skin tight leather for the next two months. Yeah, he did. His shades blade. got ever slimmer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that was a good movie. And that chick was so hot. She was a real babe. Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Kate, that was Kate mm-hmm. Beck D. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, dude. God. Fucking. What was the name of the chick who was in uh, Kira Knightley? V for, v for Vendetta. <laughs> Natalie Portman. Oh, my God. Sure. I got Natalie Port mania for a while. Yeah. She bit me. She was like a tick. She burrowed in. <laughs> she didn't have them. Lyme disease. Oh, yeah. I got she didn't Lyme have them. She didn't need them. She didn't need them. That was she, the crazy part. Yeah, she looked like Kratos' she son. Had that. She had I was that. like, give me. <laughs> she had that intensity. Yeah. She had them, but oh, they were had, eyes. Right, yeah. yeah. And I was like, well, I've never Big seen her face before. double D eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Her eyes have them. You know, I, I want to talk the to you about happen. someone. I want to talk to you about someone who has them after mm-hmm. the show. Okay, because you said that there was a person with the initials M Y mm. who had the best ones. Oh, remember you brought this up to me one time? No, because we were uh, talking yeah. about a former fling that we both shared. Ah, oh. and I was like, those were the best ones, and you were like, no, no, M mm. Y. Oh, okay. You, you don't want to explore this any further? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> They're all a blur. <laughs> yeah. They all just run together for old Jordan over here. She, yeah. She lives in Denver. Blonde performer. Uh-huh. Singer. Y- 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 no. No. Come on. Bar- I don't know. Bartender, singer. Mm-hmm. You Work banged. at the Metal Arc. <laughs> God, you just know. <laughs> oh, you were just blacked out. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> you were necklace. Yeah. No Remember? neck, no memory. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you tried to pay my mom like she was a cab driver? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried to pay a lot of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back in the day, I think that was a bit of a boneless buffalo wing myself. <laughs> yeah, you were like, tut, tut, driver, make haste. <laughs> My mom was like, where are we going? Jim's house? <laughs> <laughs> it's my house now, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were a necklace ghoul, but now you've come yeah. a long way. Yeah, the old... the old. It, it was a very specific kind of drunk, too. I'd hit, like, one too many shots. Right. And just... It was like your 11th little, Jameson somehow. One of those little... Those little wooden dolls oh, that yeah. you press the button and just, on yeah. and all the bones go out. That was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your neck, you would just go from like swinging the funniest guy in the room to. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, let's get him out of here. Get the cart. Boy, I can remember it happening like mid conversation a couple of times. <laughs> Oof. Where people, I was like, Light yeah, up. it's a great time. <laughs> yeah. Hunch, hunch, nerd. Hunch, nerd. Here's another thing about StarCraft, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Never played StarCraft. God, that was the big one for all the dorks I knew. Never played it. Never got into Magic the Gathering. Yeah, that's oh, for Sam did. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, went, we went to Slime World first mm, today. Oh, my God. And we were disappointed because it was almost only like 
children being taught or making a craft. It was like appointment. You have to pay. It was slime school. Not yeah. Not look and around. They're accredited at the too. Slime of the world. I wanted to get my fucking masters in slime. <laughs> <laughs> I love slime. I don't know if you know this. Your shortly. slime head, like the uh, like the ones the kids make online. Yeah, like when I lived in Vegas and I was so alone because Emily was in med school. I was writing my novel while making slime. While making slime. And one was my passion, <laughs> and one was a task. <laughs> I made so much slime, dude. <laughs> was I would, the... Emily would be like, "I'm going to the store. Uh, do you need anything?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, shaving cream, clear Elmer's glue. <laughs> See if they have borax." She was like, "What are you making? A bomb?" I was like, well, that'd be better, honestly. <laughs> I'm making something that is the bomb. I'm making a replacement for you. Yeah, that, that, was, the, that was the other novel that got sidelined, was the, the slime maker's <laughs> burden. <laughs> the slime smith's gamble. <laughs> yeah, they're going to, when I die, they're just going to find my papers. You know how, like, Hemingway would write to, like, Kerouac? Yeah, no, yeah. no, this is just going to be slime recipes. The perfect slime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got some really heady shit here. Sam Talent, the perfect slime. <laughs> All day today, we have walked around a mall stoned. So many of the same stores from when I... My first job was in a mall, and... Uh, so all day I have felt. Seven, he worked at the 17. lemonade stand. He was with a lemonade girl. Uh, yeah, remember the hot dog on a stick girls? Oh yeah, I was one of those. Oh, I I, I had to go to court because they didn't want to hire me. Oh, and I was like, guess what, bitch? Equal opportunity goes both ways. Nice. He was like the first so male server at Hooters. That's why you got you have an unlimited supply of corn dogs. Yeah, mm -hmm. to this day. I had an old joke that was based on real events, which was I worked in the mall like sixteen to sixteen and a half. And you had at the Cinnabon, you could get a soda for 75 cents oh, with your you, employee work in the mall. So I knew that, took advantage of that. And then like, you know, 10 years later, I'm visiting my parents in Henderson and I go to the Galleria Mall and I want a soda. So I go to the Cinnabon. Hey, uh, large soda, please. And also I, I work here at the mall. And the woman goes, yeah, I know. And it chilled me to the core. Oh, okay. I was like, what do you mean? I haven't even been in this mall in a decade. Weird. And she, I must have looked like some loser. Somebody else. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that you look like a GameStop manager. Look like I manage a foot no, you look You look like an associate manager, and you really want the boss's job. You gotta, yeah, the but yes you gotta man. ride that shit. You gotta be like, yeah, that's right. I do work here. I want two sodas. <laughs> I want a Cinnabon. I want a Cinnabon I can drive home. <laughs> I want your hat. <laughs> Give me your hat. Give me your apron, toots. <laughs> Give me your social security number. <laughs> and the biggest Cinnabon, imagine. I want something that's an affront to God. <laughs> Yeah, it was wild. It yeah, scared you, me. You've always worked here, Nathan. <laughs> that's what I, that's yeah, what I used to do real. on stage. Yeah. You've always worked here, Mr. Yeah. Torrance. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Torrance. Spare the hot dogs. Spoil the child. <laughs> 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 Her face turns into a skull. <laughs> Boy, it was crazy. Well, yeah, we went to a Spencer's today. We went to a fucking mm -hmm. Wexel's Pretzels. We went to a goddamn... You hot know, Topic, of course. Hot Topic. We kept like asking if they have Chevelle shirts in all these no stores. Chevelle and shirts, they were like, dude. what's Chevelle? <laughs> Chevelle's like the car? not odd. Yeah. Did you know that GameStop gets robbed more than any other store? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> it's like way high up on the list of like armed robberies. Loss prevention nightmare. Got all those video games back there. One got nervous at the uh, Wetzel's Pretzels because there were five young black men in front of us. <laughs> No, it was. I thought it was, was like, let's bail, bro. I said, let's bail because I thought it was going to take forever for seven dudes to get a pretzel and a You're gonna drink. You're going to eat all the pretzels. It'll be all gone by the time you get there. Yeah. I wasn't nervous. I yeah, you Wetzel's were like, I was pretzels. a little. Let's, let's get out of here, man. I was a little nervous. Well, they had, did they have face masks they all had on? The masks, they all had balaclavas on. Which, uh, it's freezing outside. So, mm. so almost immediately I was like, yeah, that, that's fine. But maybe we should ban them. Philadelphia's right. <laughs> we shouldn't have. We, they we, they shouldn't be covered up. Yeah, I'm with Paris. Get oh. rid of the whole headgear. Philadelphia's <laughs> trying to ban young black men. Yeah. They want to get like any type of face covering. Oh, the the balaclava is uh -huh. illegal. Oh, yeah, okay. which is insane. Look, oh, they yeah. can do that. But if they try and ban the baklava, I'm going to war. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right there. I'll be armed to the teeth. Front we'll, line. We'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll so to, sticky. We'll dip, go, we'll dip this the, in honey. We'll go to the Pete's Kitchen like it's the border. <laughs> <laughs> we almost stayed at Pete's Seal Kitchen. Seal the window. Thursday, Thursday night we were in Denver and we thought oh, about... Oh, no shit. Mm -hmm. We thought about sitting down at Pete's Kitchen, Man, but we, we didn't do it. That's the thing is like Pete's Kitchen, while a staple, it's not somewhere you want to like go visit. It's not like I, I, I crave... Like, oh, I want to go get a weird omelet with sausages that have been clearly cut up with scissors in it. <laughs> yeah. Remember the coach? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, 
No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hypnotize. It, it, it took <laughs> as much as it gave. <laughs> Tell the folks at home what a coach was. The coach was they had a breakfast burrito at Pete's Diner in Denver. Colfax and Williams, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, Not Williams race. race. Breakfast burrito was already a monster. It had like a full omelet in it, tons of potatoes. Uh, they put green chili on it most of the time. Right. And if you went in and asked for the coach, they would which say, we named. <laughs> right. They'd be like, what yeah. are you talking about? And then, it would, But eventually it caught on. <laughs> yeah. And they would they put... They made their shirts. All the waitresses put, had them on. <laughs> they would put uh, corned beef hash and cheese mm. and chili on top of it. So it's a fucking breakfast burrito. And gravy. The size of... Your younger brother when he was born yeah. <laughs> covered in yeah gravy and fucking corned beef hash and cheese. And depending on who was working, sometimes just a handful of something else. Yeah, yeah. They, they'd put caramel dressing on Pepper, it. Peppermint candies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's pennies in it. Handful of free condoms. Pennies, be yeah. safe, kids. And we'd go in there after the Cause, squire. Because <laughs> like we were saying earlier, uh, and we've said before, Sam and I, you were maybe... Uh, even ahead of us as far as being gross but getting laid. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. dragging it around. Yeah. <laughs> you, you weren't as gross, but you were definitely getting in there because yeah. you're six two or whatever. You were more whimsical. <laughs> yeah, Sam that's what the chicks love. Yeah. The chicks love when you ask them a riddle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't, if they can't pass your riddle, yeah. they have to go on a date with you. Yeah, you did the equivalent of like, what's this behind your ear? And it was like a rose instead of a coin. <laughs> and they were like, oh, that Jordan doll has got moxie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's my penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did get that there? get up there? <laughs> God damn it. But what, one time I remember you telling me, <laughs> you were like, I think I ate a coach last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was Barry Switzer. You were like, I got real drunk and I woke up, I blacked out and I woke up and I burped and I like tasted <laughs> like gyro meat. 17 <laughs> things, yes. yes. Six meats. And, and I remember <laughs> thinking like, man, that's the fucking, that's the hack, dude. That's the, the way to do it. It you doesn't count. You don't have to think about it. You don't yeah. have to remember you it. No regret. But you get all the nutrients. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a guy who smokes a bunch of it crystal was... meth so he can go to the glory hole and not feel gay. <laughs> that was Lund, but it was PBR and it, the coach. It was 17 to $22, depending on, <laughs> yeah. remember, it depended yeah. on who rang you up. Right. Yeah, it was a whole situation. Remember that lady with the ponytail who'd be in there late? If you yeah. had her at the counter, you were fucked. Yeah. You're paying for water if she's yeah. at the counter. I And it made your hair grow two inches every time you ate one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my fingernails came back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got to be a little uh, Batman at Pete's Kitchen. I don't know if either of you were you, with you, me. You mean fat man? No, no, no. <laughs> fat Batman. Uh, <laughs> I was both. Uh, two youngsters, two young uh, <laughs> dickheads tried to walk out without paying, and I grabbed them and nice. brought them back wow. in. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, no, you don't. It, I only grabbed one. Incredible. But I grabbed him by the hoodie, and I pulled him back in, and I said, fucking pay this woman yeah. for whatever you ate. They were also rude to her. They were like, I'm, fuck you, bitch. I'm not paying. And I was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, nice. And pulled him back in, and I ate for free that. Good Long for you, man. One. That's fucking great, dude. Puss, I ate pussy for free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll have the pussy. <laughs> the They're number she, four? No, yes. They're like, how can we repay you? You're like, I want 20 minutes in the kitchen alone. Give me the... <laughs> <laughs> Give me the keys to the freezer. <laughs> keys to the chili vat. I know you got a room back there. Have Pete sign a piece of paper that says, I'm allowed to fry whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. If I bring it in, someone will deep fry it for me. Yeah. No charge. I want that I can, frame. I can eat it here or take it to go. A bunch of Carl Budding ham, a flip flop. <laughs> Dude, you know about Carl Budding? Yeah, of course. Dude, I've talked about Carl Budding on here a lot. It was like a quarter. <laughs> it was fucking it was so nasty, thin. dude. Yeah, it was literally like a slurry of meat that they poured into a cube and right. then shaved yeah. into a packet. And it was. It was like 25, 35 cents at right. a certain point. God. And it was perfect because you just fucking perfect open that packet and you it. put it on the bread with some mayonnaise yeah. and you got a sanguine with the fishing hole. If you even need bread, eat that well. shit straight out of the <laughs> straight out of the thing. Like, yeah. just tickets. God. Cheese, uh. a slice of cheese on either side of it. Yeah. Oh, it's the keto it treat. is the most processed it's of, bad stuff. of meat. It yeah. was like, gr like gritty. Like they didn't even take the bones out. No. <laughs> My grandpa loved it. He thought it was like gourmet. Sure. Old yeah. dudes love weird loafs. Well, my grandpa also like went through the uh, the canned hash and then also the Vienna sausages. Yep, yep. The yeah. canned hash is better than almost any diner, home fry. It's all sorts. 
Yeah. I do like it, though. Yeah. Oh. The fucking Vienna sausages have a loose consistency that yeah. I don't enjoy. They fall apart oh, in your God. mouth. They do. Yeah. Oh, what about this? With the Carl Buttig, ham and turkey, slimy, weird, yeah. pastrami, not bad. Interesting. Corned beef. I couldn't disagree more. I think the darker the budding, the worse the juice. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the turkey was all about. A rift I'm, in I, the podcast. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah I thank God you're here. <laughs> I, don't ag- I don't Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. We, we would get... We What's would up, get man? the salted meats. We're oh, good, man. man. Thank yeah, you. we're good. Thank you. Fuck, are we going to have to eat Carl Budding after this? <laughs> we're going to have to do a blind taste test? Have to or uh, get That's to. ham. That's pastrami. <laughs> that's a dollar bill. You yeah. can't fool me. <laughs> that's a roofing tile. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I've taken the Budding challenge before. <laughs> sure, they all taste like thumbs, but this one has a one on it. <laughs> <laughs> I always get jealous of the guys who do this, the cola taste tests. Oh, yeah. Like, they have them jealous. set up. There's like four of them. Jealous like you couldn't do it? Well, you no, did be, it no, with... Go ahead. No, go. <laughs> I just yeah, I get jealous of the fact that their girlfriends are the ones filming them. Yeah, and they'll be like, "Oh, that's Quoke," and their girlfriend will be like, "Keep tasting, keep mm. trying." Like they're like leading them, and they're <laughs> like, "Okay," and they taste this one, and they're like, "Oh, that's RC Cola," and she's like, <laughs> she's all stoked. Just I love the relationship you so much. involves yeah, yeah, yeah. soda experiments. Yeah. Did For Valentine's Day, we had soup. My girlfriend would be, uh, she'd be bothered that I took her away for this, right? And she would be. Exhausted by the second soda. Well, but also, rightfully so. You need to make the <coughs> Come on, secret I need to display put it on case. TikTok. I need sixteen likes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jordan, what are you doing with all that fiberglass? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you get the workshop from two to four. Becoming legend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam, you did. You and Emmy did a soft, uh, soda water taste test. Didn't oh, you? interesting. Did, a yeah. Lacroix. It was a bubbly. It was a Lacroix. It was a uh, polar. Polar, and then there's the one that's like Seltzer Aid, which I thought would have chunks in it, but was remarkably <laughs> fluid. There's no chunks. Pimento, clam yeah. chowder, pimento, water. <laughs> <laughs> Remember um, Orbeez? Is oh, Orbit. Orbit. No, that was the gum. The gum but was yes, Orbit. I remember. Was it called it was Zorbs? Zorbs, no. something like that. Some, yeah. It was a drink. Orbs. It was like a Fruitopia. Yeah, but it had like little gummies floating in Balls, it. Balls, yeah. early For boba. People who, you know, like something bumping them in the face when they're sipping a soda. Yeah, they want to <laughs> chew their beverage. <laughs> it wasn't early boba, but they didn't lean in enough, so it right. wasn't like boba size. It was no. like little... Uh, Gummy... Upsetting flex. They tried to put it with, like, those. gamer fuel type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing it a lot when we would go snowboarding oh, in, the, yeah. in, like, the ski shops. They'd right. be like, a, you gonna jam a 50-50 rail? Mm. You need to... <laughs> Drink some Orbeez. Is it a Shoo, funny, some Orbit. funny uh, shaped bottle? Like yeah, kind a, of a clearly Canadian yeah, okay. thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if I tried those and I because I knew I didn't wouldn't like it. They Dude, if great. they had those for sale in the mall and we stumbled across those, I'd be sure I was dead. How many Zen do you have in right now? That's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rocking one. I couldn't understand you. <laughs> I've got one in. <laughs> it, it sounded like a lot. <laughs> Sam, you went to Japan. We were just talking about it. Did you have the um, the soda with the marble in it? Uh, you know you I'm talking push about? it down. Push the marble yeah. down. That mm. shit's good. What? Ra- ramune. I, we, yeah. I didn't, we didn't come across it's that. It's good. Me and Emmy had it. It's got oh, a weird fruit yeah. flavor that's hard to distinguish. What about, you know about Picari Sweat? I know about it. I haven't oh, had it. Dude. Good, Is it? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like its own weird little Gatorade flavor. Yeah. And so it's not like it reinvents the game, but it's r- tasty. I like Interesting. it. You know what it tastes like? You remember the Bomb Pop? The red, white, and blue popsicle. Oh yeah, it tastes like the white. Whoa, crazy! Yeah, yeah, it's wow. really good, dude. It is about. We that, went yeah, to uh, wrestling in Japan, nice. and we went to a gas station afterward. And me and Bonzo got like end of day shoot beers, and Lund got a fucking gallon and a half of Picari <laughs> sweat yeah. and drank yeah. it in the parking lot. You, you come across it a lot in the machines, and right. it's a little normal, like ten ounce, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. But then, yeah, but then there was a giant one, and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had we had we had been walking so much. Oh, it's like electrolytes, like yeah, Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. So that it really was like, and not, and not super super sweet, which was nice too. I've I I've don't heard want a bunch of sugar in my gallon and a half. The, the <laughs> chip yeah. of exotic fucking gamer <laughs> fuel. Drippings, yeah. Uh, I've heard that Japanese convenience stores are a thing of wonder. And they're beauty. the best, yeah. dude. They were yeah. great. Yeah, uh, we they have like eel on a stick in there, what? and then you can buy tickets to the wrestling show. Fun. And then there's like the room upstairs behind the curtains, <laughs> where it's just it's just straight up bondage. 
<laughs> There's a, one of those vending machines with women's panties in them and so I tried, social security numbers. I desperately tried to find a panty vendor. Yeah. And I couldn't find I wanted to do it for like the gags. And I also I wanted like, Emmy to make a couple moves and th- pay for our hotel get, room. Get in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like a stunt that somebody did and they were like, this is well, they got this all over Japan. And right. It's like, no, they don't. Well, Emmys are like a rose arch test, you know, by the end of the day. <laughs> So I was like, let me put those up in the window and see what people think subconsciously. <laughs> yeah. She looked like she was going to fucking be in the Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, yeah, no, Japan's cool. You could get, you should get over there. You'd love I wanna it. want to go. Yeah, you would look like who goes there, though. Yeah. And I don't mean like you're riddling people <laughs> oh, <laughs> behind I'm the drawbridge. I'm huge there. in Japan. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> you think you're big. Ah. Dude. I want to eat all of the food mm-hmm. that they have. I watch, I'm obsessed with those weird like Netflix shows that are like comedy, drama, food things. You told us about one. Dude, Kantaro. <laughs> Kantaro, Sweet Tooth Salary Man. <laughs> you know it would be funny if it was Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal? It's <laughs> <laughs> but he works a desk job <laughs> and just eats omakase every day. <laughs> Once I am done with my deliveries, <laughs> I will bring hell. Did you to watch the parfait shop. Did you watch Heavy Metal? Uh, Have you no. Twisted, Twisted metal? metal? No, I heard it was good. We, I haven't watched it yet. People said it was good. I watched uh, the first yeah, episode. Watch Fucking Thomas Hayden Church was in it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yep. Love From Thomas Wings. Hayden Church. Wings. Yeah, lol. Lol, yeah. yeah. Lol. And yeah. Uh, fa- famously <laughs> uh, hangs dong in... Um, the wine movie. What's the sideways? Wine? Sideways. Side- yeah. yeah. You see it? Oh yeah. yeah. He gets chased out of a woman's apartment. He has a yeah. mean piece too. And he's got he's got I the piece f- dragging for- it around forgot- once again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Straight doll. Yeah. <laughs> Tripping over it. For- <laughs> gets a cotton the spokes. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs up a bottle of wine. Yeah. It's, it's stuck. You got to save me. Help. <laughs> and then what's his name? Old Googly Eyes is like, I can't help you. Giamatti. What are we doing? Pig vomit. Because he looks like a pig and it makes me want to vomit. We fleeced my mother. <laughs> He's good in uh, The Left Behinds. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Mm-hmm. The holdovers. The holdovers. Right. Even better. Yeah. The left behind. <laughs> I don't know. Left behind was the Christian book series. Yes. Yeah. yeah we know. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was I, important I re- to both of us. Yeah. I read. <laughs> Wasn't Candace Cameron in it? I read them. No, Kirk Cameron <laughs> is in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I, wa- I read those sister. books and I was like, whoa, that maybe this is how it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard yeah. that they're good. They, That's how dumb. I mean, you I were. was a. I was probably. 16 and when I read Fearing them. God. And I had already oh. read like Stephen King and stuff, so it didn't really hold up. But it, yeah. the story was solid. And then by like the fifth book, it was just kind of off the rails. I don't know. Now I know that I, I said I, w- I wasn't going to talk about entities, but there's a thing happening in the UFO community. What's that? That I need to tell you about. Yeah, please. The idea. Are they out there? Is that humanity is an experiment it's the alien ant farm jigga 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 jig kind yeah, of thing yeah yeah um just like the movie exactly and that all human religion was planted here by extraterrestrial intelligences to make us follow some sort of order some sort of innate thou shalt not kill kind of thing give us something to look at to pay attention to to believe in and the reason they can't reveal aliens is because if they do then the experiment's over and they'll wipe us. Whoa. Yes, please. They'll so that would be, that'd be the shaking of the Etch-A-Sketch? Yeah, they'd melt down the planet and start over, as they have so many times before. What? That's Whoa. what they say. You mean we're just an echo? That's what they say. Whoa. They're trying again. I like this kind of stuff, because if you brought this up with my dad, he'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're fucking alien ships, stupid. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, my dad's such a hardline, aliens are out there guy. Yeah. But that's Jordan saying they're out there. Yeah. I agree they're out there, but I don't think that they're going to come through and just like start over. I don't think they're going to crumple up the blueprints and throw them in the cosmic trash. So the kind of understanding at this point is that they're here and they've been here for a really long time. Right. And they live like in the middle they of the earth. They live in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. USOs. Uh, yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're doing something with humanity where either vessels for souls, they're harvesting our soul, mm-hmm. our, our organ energies. Yes. Some kind of chi. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or it's some kind of, you know... Uh, something more than a zoo 
but less than a, a mine right. for, for souls. And They're uh, coming to visit their experiments, right? Right, That's, exactly. Right, yeah, In the yeah. same way that we study, you know, the pandas or mm -hmm. the chimps. They're yeah. like, look at them go. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, why don't they help? Well, why don't you help the ants when the ant pile is getting destroyed because you don't care when you're pissing on that ant when you're pile, pissing on that ant pile, <laughs> which i've been doing non-stop down in southern colorado Ruining that right? oh my god ant families destroying <laughs> ant entire generations you know how long it takes them to build that network of caverns they have and religions I just, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. i'm not even looking at it i'm on my phone like oh wow <laughs> cool uh, i pissed on another one <laughs> donovan McNabb highlights <laughs> i'm just like eradicating <laughs> they have uh, religions based on the time sam pissed on the ant hill yeah the great the it's great because pissing. of the gay ants that we, we <laughs> had the flood. <laughs> well, I took Emmy down to where I walk around in the public space, and I was like, oh, look at all these ant piles. We have to find some grasshoppers come spring. And she was like, why? And I was like, you rip the legs off, and you leave them in the ant pile, and you watch them fight. And she was like, I have no interest in that. And it makes you <laughs> what feel, you it makes you feel like a god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We used to do that so much. You get half of a worm, put it in the ant pile. You, you tear apart, you make an animal helpless, put it in the ant pile, and then you get an erection. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then you show it to him. And you say, the eclipse is here. <laughs> Look at your obelisk. <laughs> it's like 2001. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, those poor guys. <laughs> yeah, the obelisk was just God's dick. I've told Sam, but uh, and I don't know if I've ever told you, mm. but like after college, uh, spent a lot of time in Henderson, Nevada, with my high school buddies, and we would capture. Uh, we s somehow got like a little terrarium. I think we found one, you know, that somebody put on the curb, and so we had this little terrarium, and we would get like a camel spider, which sure. nowhere near the size of in yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a rock. But still, a, an actual Scary. like camel spider. Yeah, they're fierce, whatever. Yeah. And we'd have two of them fight in the terrarium. Yikes. Or uh, one time it was a camel spider versus a scorpion. Oh, Yikes. huge. And it was so fun. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah. So stupid. But so we had so much fun, dude. Bunch of 13 year olds no, pumping, no, this pumping is dollar 20, bills this in is the air. 22. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tamale! We could, we, we, could, we could drink and smoke weed while we watch, Fuck yeah. while we watch okay. the insects See, battle. See, that's something else. That's. Uh, that's that sounds like a pretty good time. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. It what, was you thought Lord mine sounded bad? <laughs> no, you sounds good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. It does. I just mean, it, at 22, it's different than well, when you're yeah, 13. Yeah, he fucking organized some kind of Yakuza event. <laughs> he was 30, 37 point uh, pissing 30, on the anthill. 36. Yeah. It's fun to bore a hole in one side and then watch them like all flow out of it. <laughs> if you can like get all the way like you know like this is me racing the train guys i think we can i think we can i'm john henry put all of these activities <laughs> onto one ant pile yeah to a camel f spider fighting a scorpion sam's pissing on it P us pumping dollar bills in there. <laughs> yeah. there are 13 year olds there Smoking we let them drinking. come over they can't yeah. drink too much right. they yeah. can have a little weed enough right. to yeah. make they can scrape things, resin enough to make things significant you know yeah mm -hmm. make it real damn it yeah Speaking well, yeah. of significant, I think we need to do an ad read. Great. Do you have it on your phone? Bakari no, sweat. No, you guys don't send it to me for some reason. Oh, yeah, we can't trust you with it because you always try to, quote, unquote, punch it up. <laughs> we'll me, get to give it. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. <laughs> Here you go. Um, oh, yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah, you inhabit New York City. I do. Yes. Have you... Oh, that was the question. What was your mall growing up? Oh, dude, our mall was the fucking Glenwood Springs yeah, Mall. It was dominated sense. by a Kmart and Mark's Toys and Pets. Ooh, and there what? Was a Under one roof? Oh, yeah. There was a JCPenney's at one end and a Kmart at the other end, and it, all of it was dying, Sam. Oh, yeah, for constantly. sure. Constantly. Yeah. We had a sword shop. The sword shop was constantly doing <laughs> booming oh, business. God. We went there together. We went there, yeah. Yes, dude. And that's yeah. where we found Gunsword Cane. Gunsword Cane, yeah, yeah dude. dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> it was a cane that had a gun that's as right. the grip. But then you could pull the gun out and there was a sword attached to the gun sheathed in the cane. How many did you buy? It was <laughs> <laughs> we backed up the truck. It was a bad gun, you it was a bad sword, and it was a bad cane. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it was a gun sword cane. <laughs> God, what if, what if the what if the sword uh, end was also an umbrella? Then you're <laughs> yeah, the penguin special and a, like and, a, and a radio. <laughs> yeah. They call that a cobble pot. <laughs> the cobble pot. Get down the cobble pot. We got some serious buyers here. That was also the same trip where we had two legendary zing arounds. Mm -hmm. There was Rick D. Simone. 
yeah. staring at the night sky at Brett Hiker's parents' house yeah. as we're all having laughs. And then Rick out of nowhere just said, the stars are dead. We thought we were having <laughs> such a good time. Oh, no. And we were like, look, Rick's having, he's communing with nature. Mm-hmm. And he was thinking about the heat death of the universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the stars are dead. Yeah. It's like, okay, Rick, we're uh, going to go and eat some more venison. Let's that's get a you, wrap on let's Rick. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> yeah, huh? that's, that's, uh, that's a wrap on Rick. Round of applause, everyone. <laughs> And then, of course, the bodybuilding half man of Crater Lake. Bodybuilding <laughs> half man to <laughs> prepare to struggle. struggle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like Whoa. this big. Yeah. He's he's ripped, but he doesn't have any legs, so he runs around either yeah. on a skateboard or on his knuckles and comes at you and gets yeah. your, gets your shins and your knees. Yeah, he like grab he like wraps you up and then he says, "Prepare to struggle." Because <laughs> you can shake him off. Kind of an urban legend we cooked up, but yeah. at the same time, it was a bit of a slender man. We felt like we conjured him into reality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh no, what have we done? What's that I've called? S- a talkie? Oh, uh, uh, a tulpa. A tulpa, yeah. Yeah. What half man? No, when you <laughs> speak a, something into existence. Yeah, yeah. It's uh. like a like a like a weird like a, I think like Buddhist idea that you can concentrate your energy, your mind, into a thought form. Like you can make a being. Like if we all thought about Anna Nicole Smith on all fours right now, <laughs> we might be able to bring her back to life for like hundreds of years. But we had like rotating monks doing right. it oh, and thinking it takes at, the, at the same spot, being uh-huh. like Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole with three, like in three total recall. Hooter, <laughs> Anna Nicole and a triple. <laughs> yeah, and she'd come back screaming like, "Help! Oh, I was at peace. You freed me from my cause." heaven <laughs> total recall baby <laughs> we also did uh that morning show oh yeah oh, fucking a. have you ever seen a dead body trisha <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. it was trisha it was right trisha. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah legendary were around talking shit it was like three in the morning we were fucking each 40 keystone lights deep <laughs> yeah and we were talking about how we had to get up and go to this uh and it was real real early in everybody's comedy career. We were like just hitting the road, mm-hmm. to having a ton of fun. And we were like, we're doing a morning show tomorrow. To promote our shows. To p- promote the shows. And we were like, and you you were like, what should I say? What should I? What can I say to her? And we were like, ask her if she's seen a dead body. And we laughed and we laughed and then we forgot about it. And he did it. <laughs> he did it. It ruled. Um, it well, yeah, because really in, her, in her talking notes, it's me, you, Brett Hiker, and Nate Balding. <laughs> And Nate Balding was dressed insanely, if I remember. Yeah. Leather jacket. Yeah, leather jacket. And it's like 6.30 a.m. Hiker had been drinking on the drive. Yeah, it's a road soda. On those <laughs> runs, I would wake up to him sitting on the edge of the bed, drinking a beer with his shirt off, and he'd be like, you ready to go? It's like, what? <laughs> so we get to the studio. And I've been in- up working on the Anna Nicole tulpa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're working in shifts in the basement. <laughs> My dad made a pot of coffee. <laughs> get in the tulpa seat. <laughs> yeah, and then we got there, and she's like, so Sam, you host the Squire Lounge. I heard that's pretty rough. What's it like? Listen. And I was like, <laughs> "Well, you ever seen a dead body, Trisha?" <laughs> <laughs> we had, we had the video for a while. Uh-huh. You can see me like physically Collapse. pinch my face to <laughs> yeah. stop yeah. from fucking scream laughing. Nate Balding has that thing where his chest implodes. <laughs> 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 We couldn't you guys believe all, it. You guys all, I think, got to shine a little bit uh, in that segment. Yeah. She she loved it. She uh, she I don't also think just she, she plowed through. I don't think she clocked it. it. Didn't I think register. she was just like he said a thing in a funny way, right? Yeah, and it's going on TV, and it did. It yeah. went on the morning show uh-huh. in Vail. So people, millionaires, getting up, ready to hit the slopes. Yeah, they get to see me. Oh, what's Trisha up to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's Trisha in the morning talking about? <laughs> uh, do they ever figure out those moose tracks out by Avon Vale? <laughs> No, it's just four wads oh, hung over this? and bleary eyed. <laughs> you ever seen a dead body, Trisha? <laughs> Nate Balding. <laughs> Dude, you know who we should speak into existence is that AccuWeather woman. Oh my god. Who's that? We were last <sighs> night we walked back into the hotel lobby. We're waiting for the elevator. The TV's on uh, AccuWeather channel. Okay. And there was a meteorologist who ruled. Yeah. Yeah. We went up to two, the room. Do two big fronts approach. Oh, sure. We went <laughs> I'd like to meet her Yeah. And right? also her being a meteorologist turned me on more cuz she's smart. She's smart. She knows the the patterns. And she was wearing cycles. like a she was wearing a white dress kind of like the one in Clueless 
like that sweater type dress, you know, oh. big sweater dress. Yeah, oh my. yeah like and I and you kind of had you really need. This was a veteran's eye. You had to have a trained eye to spot that she had him due to the cut of the dress. <laughs> But I did, and then Every, Mom was like, "What?" And yeah, I was you like, some, "Yeah, you're such a genius." Oh man, yeah. just saying. It was super obvious that she had them. Okay. It was not hard to tell. Don't hide your light in a bushel. <laughs> this is this is like you guys are talking about seeing Bigfoot budding. and nobody's it's story. Nobody's again. story quite lines yeah. up. It's Carl Budding back <laughs> back in action. I'd like the Zimmerman film on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd like to slow that down. <laughs> Zimmerman. Frame right? 43. Uh, Zapruder? No. That's, no. That's What's Zimmerman? It's the Aliens? Kennedy assassination. Yeah, the Zapruder. Kennedy assassination. The well, what, is, uh, what are you talking about? That's the classic no, no, in the woods. No, no. It's right? not Zimmerman, but I knew what you meant. Zingerman's it's, footage. It's <laughs> Great Deli in Ann Arbor. I can't remember. Zucker? I can't remember. The Zucker, the Zucker footage? For the airplane? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Kentucky Fried movie. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Becker if we have an ad read, and he has not even seen the message, which well, means he's gone. He is dead. The Patterson <laughs> Gimlin film. He's oh, succumbed. yes. Yeah. That's Patty, right. they called her. And you know what? Something? Patty had him. Oh, yeah. She's oh, that's what? Him. There's that's, film? That's how, yeah. she, that's how they knew it was a she. She turns around and she's like, Bone on in on in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bah, 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 nah, nah, nah. Let's go, girls. <laughs> uh, we had uh, Sam and I agreed last night watching The Iron Claw. I haven't seen it. That well, uh, early on, Don't Fear the Reaper plays. Okay. And oh, it God. was the perfect song for this fucking scene. It's a great song. Yeah, we yeah we both agree. This was not a, this is an opposite of a budding situation where we both said yeah this fucking rocks blue oyster and cult right blue oyster cult and i don't know if you had the same uh thing as me but probably a dozen times more than a dozen times i would be listening to the radio and would catch the weird little breakdown in the middle that bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. And I, every time, so many fucking times, I would be like, oh, yeah, this song. What is this song? This song rules. I don't hear it. And then it goes back into yeah. the, 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 the r- r- most of the song. And, I'm, and you, every time I'm like, you dumb fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you always think that's some other song. Well, it's like when or Radar like Love, they play the non radio edit, and it has the middle of the bow, now, now, now. Yeah. And you forget, and you're like, "Oh, this is Radar Love." I forgot it was nine minutes long. It's two songs in one. Yeah. What, what did? What was Blue Oyster Cult's other one? Godzilla. Yeah. Go at Godzilla. Oh, That's a great no. fucking Oyster song. Cult, bow. They're all Hell bangers, yeah. dude. Bow, na, no, no. Do you remember the movie Stone Age? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Quick question. Days they're confused. Days and confused or Stone Age? Stone Age. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Remember Tack from Stone Day? Yes, dude. He hit me up. <laughs> he froze. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Tack. I saw that uh, Clifton, what's his All name, right. Jr., and I like, clicked on him because he had the blue <laughs> check mark, and I was like, yeah. oh my God, it's Tack from Stone He's Day. He's like a hell of an actor. He's oh, in some dude. other shit. He's too. really good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, saw that you followed me. Wanted to let you know I've seen Stone Day like a hundred times. Tack rules, Ox 45 forever. <laughs> and he responded with some wild shit, man. I wish what? I had my phone. Yeah, because he hit me up and he like just started going off. He's like, I watched your set, man. I love a dirty joke. I was with this chick for a while. She would bleed every time I fucked her. Good lord. Like right away. He went full tack. I'll Ugh. show you. I'll show you. <laughs> if we weren't filming on my phone, I could Fuck. reveal what Clifton Gonzalez Jr. or whatever has to say. <laughs> He's the man. I hit up Bonzo. It was like I told Bonzo Sean Kemp was coming to my wedding. He was like, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Remember Sean Kemp? Of course you don't. No, I know the he name. He played basketball. Uh, you don't okay. know anything about him. I knew had, the name. He had like 40 From kids somewhere. out of wedlock. No, you don't. Sure. He's in the Patterson Gimlin footage. Yeah. <laughs> He's the guy at the Easy. back. Easy. He, was, he played in Seattle. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. I know we should uh, make that joke about a black man. Well, he was one. Of the, he was part of the part of the team in yeah. the back. Mm-hmm. He was on the wires. Yeah, making the puppet walk. <laughs> you know what, what, what time are we? A at? guy claimed it. A guy was like, "It was me." Bed. Yeah, it was me. We got mm-hmm. about eight, nine more minutes. Okay. Yeah, we got to do that ad read at some Becker point. Becker is currently. <laughs> you know about Becker? <laughs> Getting the plug sure. pulled. Uh, he hasn't seen he's this message. Sick. He's Jughead. I wish he was Jughead. Oh no! What no. happened? Now he's just—he's barely head at this point. Oh no! He yeah. swallowed a jug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. So it's not in his head; it's in his belly. Oh no. And they can't get it out. It's like a light bulb situation. It went in just fine, but they can't sure. get it out without doing and some he's damage. He's like shaped like a jug. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever he breathes, you hear. 
real real Looney Tunes scenario. Yeah, Steamboat Jakey. Remember Chuglin with the Chug? Sure, that was another morning show we did. <laughs> yeah, we did so many great media. Chuglin outlets. with oh. the A Train. A Train. His name yeah. was like Aaron or something. He was uh-huh. like, I'm the A Train, and he had a whole like little. <laughs> He had a whole little world set up in there, and we came in, and we were like, oh, I, "Fuck the A train." <laughs> I did. I did first time comedian Jeff Strickler on. Oh that. my god, you did, <laughs> dude! <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Becker or uh, Hiker has that footage. Good lord, he has it on like his, heady days. Yeah, those were the days, man. <laughs> I was gonna say time. earlier that uh, me and you and Hiker did a show in I think Eagle Vale. Maybe yeah. Bobby was there. Yes, and yeah. it was one of the worst shows I've yeah, ever yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like it was like an Irish bar. It was a bar. There were like twelve people there, we and were, everybody was mean and heckled. They hated it. We were all very alternative comics. Yes. We weren't edgy. We were alternative. We were dark. Jordan Dahl alternative? Yeah. Well, dark, <laughs> no. well, yeah, dark, silly, talking about very random things, and they didn't like any of us. Yeah. And it was very frustrating because we were all doing well in Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of impressing, well, competing with each other to write. And it and was also like, it was a fucking, it was like a shit show. It was one of those, like, the, the, they... <laughs> It was a bar. We were standing on the same level as as everybody in no the stage, audience. Yeah. There was no stage. Yeah. There was no lights. TVs on. Yeah. And they were just kind of annoyed that we were there. It yeah. was like, all right, now here's some guy. They're going to do a show for you guys. Bring all the parents in. The kids are going to do a show. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It sucked. It sucked shit. But we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think we that's did. where you did fun. the Devon 8 9 thing. Devon eight nine. You're like, why were six hamburgers afraid of of Devon? Because <laughs> Devon eight nine. <laughs> That's not me. I that wish, was you. I dude. wish it was. That was you, dude. Whoa. Absolutely. I was blackout, <laughs> crushing. It's like eleven in the morning. So yeah. Poor dude. poor Devin Davis. Devin could. Yeah. Devin put me on his shoulders once when we were playing he's, flag football. He's a, a little meat stump. The dude is powerful. I was like, there's no way, and he was like, I'm positive i can lift you like that no problem and he could devin uh it's nuts Reese, i still talk to him i still play video games with that guy oh, he good. uh a raccoon got into his house <laughs> and, and he grabbed it and put his hand in its mouth like you do with a dog what? when it's biting yeah and he had to get like seven rabies shots yeah. in his stomach oh, it was a real dumb thing to do holy <laughs> shit God. and then he like like he he's one of these dudes that like is is on a mental health journey mm-hmm. and so when Quit I talk, when I talk, that's step one. That's step one. Yeah. Get when away I talk from to Steve. him about that, <laughs> don't shit, go to Pete's be like, kitchen. <laughs> he'll be like, "You need to do this, and you need to do that, and I think you might have ADHD." And I'll be like, "Dude, I, I saw you fist fight a raccoon, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doctor. You beat up your own dad." <laughs> there was a while that with was Devin. Kyle Buffkin. <laughs> that was Buffkin. <laughs> yeah, Buffkin, me, Roger, Kevin, yeah. Kevin Schultz. <laughs> Kevin A. Fox, sorry. Kevin A. Fox. One time at the Squire, Devin was like feeling himself, and he was like, "Yeah, all these girls are into me," and he like was talking to three different girls, and then I kissed all three of those girls that night just to be a dickhead to Devin. <laughs> yeah, it was so <laughs> shitty. And then we stole his fucking Xbox. <laughs> oh man! Remember, he loaned uh, he us his Xbox, and we never back. gave it back. He didn't want it back. He wanted it back. That was no. part of the stipulation. He had another one, or he had moved in with a woman. And she had one, so it was fine, I think. Yeah. Maybe they broke up, and then he wanted it back, and we yeah. said no. He <laughs> wanted, we definitely didn't return the Xbox. We're keeping it, it and we're keeping your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. you, you're reminding me that he, he wanted in with an old uh, flame of mine. Who? Mm. Cella. Oh, the big mm. C. He was interested, and I was like, I don't think... She would go out with you. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's a you good idea. You mean one idea. of the hottest babes ever? Yeah, yeah. you got a shot. Sure, shoot your Meatball shot. Meatball man. Though. Yeah. Hey, falafel guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe a few five. He's got a good heart. Ten. <laughs> Great that's guy. That's his problem. <laughs> Sir Mixalon. Yeah. Him Only a few five three. He was five three. <laughs> Remember him and Wardell <laughs> ran the Sir rover, <laughs> man. And it was guy with the biggest ass, and then a man yeah. who was shaped like an ottoman upright. <laughs> and they hosted that <laughs> mic. J- Jason Wardell told a joke that I b- I thought about recently, Take which it. was uh, it's yours. He was like uh, <laughs> he was in a terrible relationship with this woman who was how bad just was it? like <laughs> how bad <laughs> was it? <laughs> Uh, she was like cheating on him and like jerking him around and just a bad time. And he was at Comedy Works and he was a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, it d- was like Dark Side, fucking Jason. It was great. Oh no! And he got he up and he was like, he was dressed like Baldwin. 
<laughs> he was like, how? Don't go to school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. How soon is too soon to tell jokes about breaking up? Turns out two weeks before. That's the uh, answer ooh. to it. <laughs> uh, God bless him. And then she dumped him. He's Whoa. married happily now. He's dude. married happily Jen with Kusheka. a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. What's her name? <laughs> Juicy Jen? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but he's got a kid. He does. He plays live music for our for our D and D stream. Oh, sick! It rules. He's great. He's, like uh, he's Jason on the ones and twos and the synth. Jason War Turtle. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you this: we did one of those mountain shows one time, and we would like rotate the headliner. Mm-hmm. And man, two, one of the hardest follows I ever had was you in. What was your hometown? Oh, Eagle. Eagle. That really? bar. Yeah, you went up before me and just did all this shit about like. <laughs> Local stuff, you know. Ted, what do you guys Ted, think about no nos? Yeah, Ted's exactly. The guy, Ted uh, has Ted closed his garage yet? <laughs> yeah. And everybody, ah! yeah. Uh, uh, pulling Jordan, their fucking eyelids yeah. off. Jordan, Jordan. <laughs> God, I, and my clothes are dirty. I got to take them up to the washboards on Road 158. <laughs> and they're like, yes. <laughs> and I went up there. And I was like, I was in an ad for rape whistles. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense because you rape. Well, let me finish face. the joke. Jordan. Uh. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. have no ad read, that's but I do want to. That's a good goof. <laughs> I, d- I do want to shout out Mondo, <laughs> which oh, yeah. we saw a commercial for a few times. There's a woman. Mondo. A woman made a uh, body deodorant uh, called Mondo. Sweet. And for every crevice. <laughs> immediately, oh. I was like, all hell, Mondo. <laughs> she, she spoke a god named Mondo into existence. Yeah, that was her tulpa. <laughs> yeah. He, his, his lotion takes your body odor, but sure. then it. it, it it, it, it's absorbed into him. It replaces it with Mondo's. He, it makes him yeah. stronger. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you smell like Mondo. Mondo now. is the stink. Mondo is the future. <laughs> Mondo, Mondo stink the future. <laughs> it was getting me, man. Mondo. She just said it funny. That feels like, like yeah. some fucking, like, some, like, fucking. <laughs> I am become death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Destroyer of worlds. Who's, who's the guy who wrote Total His Recall? Name is Mondo. Philip K. Dick. It feels like some Philip K. Yeah, Dick. Like, yeah. like they were all wearing Mondo deodorant. You <laughs> yes, could smell yeah. it through the vents. It was a company town. The compliance <laughs> nanites had made them do it. Yeah. Splinter's like, you must have fight a Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shredder, could, could... Shredder poured some, uh, some ooze yeah. Yeah. on top of what? An armadillo. Mm, and sure. then Mondo was born. Yeah. <laughs> Mondo the Stink Lord. <laughs> the Stench Tulpa. <laughs> tulpa, yeah. Mia Tulpa. Mondo. <laughs> oh, another, Man. before we go, one of my favorite gags ever <laughs> was that New Year's Eve party where we kept counting down randomly <laughs> and singing the beginning of oh, Odd Lane Sign yeah. throughout the entire night. Yep. <laughs> someone is... would walk in. I don't know yep. if it was you or Hiker, yeah. but someone would walk in and we'd be like, yeah. 10. Yeah. No, it was like 9.30. We did it at 2 a.m. Yeah, we it did was... it We did it at midnight yeah. it and it had lost its moon. sting uh-huh. and then it kept coming back <laughs> Right. because we were up until like 4 o'clock. Of course. We just yeah. kept Love doing it. 10, 9. Yeah. Why, why do it once? It's, yeah. the, it's the best part it of was the great. night. So do it a bunch of times. And also, we didn't know all the words. Yeah, you don't need to. You sing the first lane two lines. lines, yeah, and that's it. May all. Uh, I like to best. do the. I like to count it down and then back it up. Ten, nine, eight, nine. Yeah. Ten, eleven, nine, <laughs> eight, seven. <laughs> Eight. Some a lot of people hated it. Oh, I yeah. remember that. It was not universally it. loved, but it wasn't man, a oh yeah, we we oh, yeah. I enjoyed the hell out of that. We did it where were we? A house party? Yeah, we were at. I know whose house we were at. I do too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second yeah, best. Too. Second best on the <laughs> Jordan <laughs> doll top one hundred. I don't know. I still don't know who M Y is. You're an idiot. <laughs> Mandy Youngs. Nah. Yeah. That's who no, you you no. said it to me no. too. Not me. No. Yeah, you did. Not me. What? It was you. Not me. Oh, yeah. You're nuts. I remember, gentlemen. I remember every lip, <laughs> every every smooch, every mondo creased crevice. <laughs> Slick with mondo. Jordan, tell them where to find you. Oh uh, shit! Uh, I do I do werewolf radar with the the some some of the boys don't, who were don't on those. Plug werewolf radar. We love werewolves. <laughs> we love radar. werewolf radar. Yeah, it's where they talk about uh, werewolves Ghosts who also shit. have like developmental disabilities. Yeah, like radio. sure. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was radio. Uh, it's Damn a it. podcast. You can listen to that. It's a paranormal preparedness podcast. Uh, I'm Razor Lou all over the internet. I'm on uh, Instagram. And uh, and Twitch and if you, 
can can I shout TikTok. out TikTok? Would you accept graphic design work from yeah, anybody? Of yeah, of course. He Jordan made uh, soups on. Oh yeah, that's cover right. art. I Dozens sent him, of people have seen it. Shut up. I sent him. <laughs> I sent him. I sent him like two messages, and he sent me something that was almost exactly what I wanted. I asked him to tweak two things, and then boom. Because uh, you sent me the, uh, you were like, a it's thought like, out thing. It's that you sent me the, exactly what you wanted, but you also sent me a reference of an album cover. You were like, kind of like this. Mountains like, album yes. cover, the the font of the last waltz. Yes. And then, yeah. Which is uh, all the questions, a crow, man. A crow and, a, and an axe and a big truck. It's all the questions. Yeah. Yeah. It's all you need. So, so yeah, hire Jordan. Uh, yeah, hit aff- me up. Affordable, quick turnaround. I'll draw you something. So talented. I'll draw you a furry. I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Hit him up. What were we saying? Uh, what if you could you draw us Anna Nicole Smith with three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd take a while. I'd have to take a lot of breaks. If you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. My both wrists are gonna hurt. <laughs> what about uh, Better Than Heroes? Oh yeah, yeah. On uh, on Mondays on Twitch TV forward slash Better Than Heroes, we play Dungeons and Dragons with some of the funniest people that I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can come check us out and watch Aaron Urist uh, make us all laugh until we pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to think of Urist. This is Colonel Kurtz. <laughs> Like no one's seen him in a long time. He's just in a dark room. <laughs> the horror. P- warrior poet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sitting cross legged all the time, completely nude. <laughs> uh hey, come see us at Magoobies next week in Baltimore. And then Timonium. go see us in Phoenix. And then see us at Governors in Long Island. And then Traverse City, uh Dallas, Fort Worth. Hyenas in Fort Worth. Hyenas. I'm forgetting one. Uh, I got it. Okay. And also, hey, go to that Patreon, patreon.com slash show behemoth. We need four more subscribers, and we will hit our goal, and we will tell you what the new goal is. I'm going to shoot up the mall. <laughs> we only need three more people, and I'm going to shoot up this mall. <laughs> yeah. Traverse City, March 22nd, 23rd. Fort Worth, March 29th, 30th. Vancouver, no. Uh, Arcata, no. That one just says the dunk tank. Yeah. You guys are going to be in a dunk tank at an Elitch's. <laughs> God, I wish. You know when um, I used to referee little people wrestling at Elitch's? I what did. the yeah. fuck? No, yeah. I did. It's uh, incredible. It oh, calling. when you were the Baba Duke, that Halloween oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. house party, when they played their first show, Big yeah. City yeah, Drugs, yeah, yeah. I came directly from Elitch's. I was half zombie, half uh, I remember clown. that, yeah. I was, I was ring announcer, referee, MC for, for little two little guys beating the hell out of each other all three right. times a night for all of October. Who won? <laughs> Everybody. They switched it off. It <laughs> yeah. depended on which one. Uh, they protect the business, brother. <laughs> well, they switched off because they were evenly matched. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah, a, yeah. A, a size advantage mm-hmm. for one guy, a speed advantage for the other. So Back and forth. You didn't know who was going to win each night. You know, they they put it all on the line. Deadly Those were game the days. Of and then I, they yeah. they talked about potentially taking me with them on the road. <laughs> But he came back and he was like, hey, I think I got a new opportunity. I'm going to hit the road with these little fellas. I thought about it. And I was like, dude, you're married. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't married yeah, yet. I'm married to the game. I could have picked, picked these little guys over my now wife. Mm-hmm. But back then she was just some slam piece. You would call <laughs> she was just two to three tits. Well, yeah. and you're... <laughs> <laughs> Depending on I the... I don't know. It's dark uh, in there. <laughs> well, your wife famously is two little people in a, a dress. <laughs> dressed up. Uh, speaking of my wife, if you want some coffee, email her. Thanks for listening. She, she can <laughs> she can send you uh, some coffee. They have a few options available. The email address is mutiny on Main Street at Gmail. Uh, hit up Megan. Uh, don't call her Creech. <laughs> it's Megan with an H. <laughs> and uh, don't ask her if she's got them. Don't ask her to dump them out. Just uh, get her Just spiel get about coffee. coffee and then order yeah. some beans. For the love of God. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Eight. Do us a quick favor. Go to the YouTube page and subscribe for Chubby Behemoth. And while you're there, subscribe to my YouTube because I think I'm launching something pretty exciting over there. Thank you for listening. The Slime Lord's Gambit. (laughs) Thanks, Jordan.